Welcome to Riverside, home to some of the biggest badasses in the boom business, the Riverside County Box Squad. Today, we're gonna find out about one of the most dangerous jobs on the entire police force. We'll be checking out the gear, the robots, and of course, the explosions they use when saving lives. Well, if you didn't know where we were, you do now. It's got a sign. Tommy and I have asked them to put us through some training to see if we have what it takes to be a cool bomb diffuser. Oh, dude, look at that. Spoiler alert. Like you could be Rambo. We don't. Hey, Bob. Hey. How are you? I'm Bob. I'm Tori. Nice to meet you, Tori. This is my favorite person right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. So this is uh, the Riverside County Sheriff's Hazardous Device Team, aka the Bomb Squad. So tell me, what do you guys do out here? We respond for suspicious packages, explosive threats or hazards, or anything that falls under the potential for an explosive. And you blow stuff up. We do do that. We blow things up that blow things up. So what are you going to be showing us while we're here? We're going to have you run through the same actions that an applicant to the team would go through so you kind of get a feel of whether or not it's a good fit for you. I don't have a high success rate. I've never defused a bomb. You're doing better than me. OK, let's, this should be interesting. Well, let's go next door and try some suits. Let's do it. The first bomb squad in America was formed by the New York Police Department in 1903, primarily to deal with the mafia's habit of intimidating their victims using dynamite. Early bomb squads had cool nicknames like the Anarchist Squad and Radical Squad. Despite their appealing names, no one took them very seriously until a bomb went off at the 1940 World's Fair in New York City, killing the two police officers who were trying to disarm it. Fragments are still under study in New York Police Headquarters. After the incident, Mayor LaGuardia, he of the terrible airport fame, asked the NYPD to come up with ways to prevent future bomb tragedies. Since then, bomb technology has been getting better and better, including the bomb suit, which we're gonna be trying on today. Tommy, you look good. You look like you're ready for action. These 70 pound suits of armor are made of layers of Kevlar, foam, and fiber reinforced plastic that cover your entire body. Well, except for one striking emission. Bomb suits don't come with gloves. Really? No. No. Look in the box. That's messed up, man. <laughs> So we'll go through some of the normal dexterity movements. So first thing you gotta do is get down on your knees like you're gonna work on a device. Like come down like this. I believe in you. <laughs> so pick up the coin and then stand up without leaning on tables. This is your exercises? There's some of the things we put applicants through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Count three, ready? One, two, three. No. Nope. <laughs> there, perfect. Made it look easy. So that's the first phase is bomb suit familiarity. How do we do? Uh, well, we completed that phase. We That's did. a nice way to say we're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> the first step in dismantling a bomb is to figure out what makes them tick. I mean, you know, so to speak. I know what you're thinking, Tori. Dismantling a bomb isn't as complicated as it seems, right? So when you're talking about circuits, you're talking about series circuits. So you have a battery here. Yeah, totally. So now we turn the light on, we turn it off. We look at an x-ray of a device, and we go, OK, that's a micro so switch. This is a simple relay. series circuit. This would be like a dead man switch, like your um, suicide bomb. So now we're talking parallel circuits, we're talking about multiples. So you have your battery here, function based on what I see. So our ultimate goal is to prevent this from going off. Got it. So Got it. That was a lot of info. But it boils down to analyzing the circuit, finding the power source, and disabling that power source before it can trigger the bomb. But you guys don't have to worry about anything like this at all. That's a relief. Because we have something like this that you'll be able to work on later. That looks bigger. Let me see, Tommy, with this. Oh, oh no. dude. It's a, try this out for a second. It's oh, a perfect oh, it's a fit. perfect fit. Yeah. Oh, it's like made for me. Oh. Now, in order to teach you how to take that off of him safely and you both survive, Rob's going to teach you some stuff we can't show on camera. So we're going to break away, give you some training, and we'll come back with a nice, live, extremely dangerous training aid on his neck. I might pay attention. What the f This strange contraption is called a collar bomb. And no, we didn't make it up. This just feels messed up. It's actually been used by kidnappers and extortionists around the world, including one particularly strange incident in Pennsylvania where a pizza delivery guy was outfitted with a collar bomb and forced to rob a bank. I don't know if it's 
going to be technically possible for you all to capture some of the detail, but I will show a picture of the mechanism. Sadly, the bomb went off before the bomb squad could disarm it. That's why they continually train for these kinds of situations. Today, with my very limited training, I'll be trying to disarm this notoriously difficult kind of bomb with Tommy acting as the hostage. Help! Of course, we wouldn't put real explosives in the dummy bomb around Tommy's neck. But to make things interesting, there is a small live charge of black powder under his chair that will go off if I fail to save it. And as an added bonus, they've given us shock collars to make sure we both have something at stake. Oh my God, how did this happen? I have 15 minutes to try my best and dismantle this neck bomb for Tommy. And one of the things they taught me in my limited training is to be positive. You trust me? No. And gather any information I can about the bomber. Do you remember what they look like? It was cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yeah, she was mad. What'd you do to her? I was using Monopoly money. <laughs> Time to get to work. So you see there's some wires in there. How are you going to get to them? I'm going to cut it open. Like into the plastic? Yeah. Don't worry. It's going to be great. I might give you a little bit of a shave. Oh, my god. OK. All right, we're in. Uh-oh. I'll take suggestions. Look at your diagram. Any suggestions? Damn, that cinnamon. It'd be a good bomb tech because you're not afraid to take a risk. That's a crazy move. My goal here is to analyze the circuit inside and figure out which of these wires will disable the power source without accidentally triggering the bomb. Good thing I'm cool as a cucumber. Corey, do you always shake like that? <laughs> Shut up. I guess what I'll do, if it gets down to like one minute, I'll just take a guess and cut the green wire. So it turns out that defusing a bomb is exactly as hard as it looks. I used up so much of my time cutting into the bomb's plastic casing that I barely have any time left over to figure out the complex circuitry inside. I got to find that power source. Wow. Under a minute, Tommy. You are about to have a dramatic ending one way or another. Can we just go for it? Might as well, right? Let's try this. Here we go. Let's make a noise. Let's make a noise. I think we're good. Did I stop it? Huh. I think you did it. I did it. Woo! Ha. Who is this cinnamon girl? She told me she loved me. She is a very technical individual. Apparently, you forgot the one switch inside. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that last switch. Looks like I declared victory a little too soon. I mean, I did cut the right wire to keep the timer from detonating the bomb, but it turns out an additional switch was keeping the circuit open. When I detached the collar, that switch was triggered, closing the circuit and blowing up my chances of ever becoming a bomb tech. I didn't want to let you down, and I let you, you did. down. You did. I killed you, dude. I, I feel bad. I would have killed us much faster. Oh. <laughs> you know what? We came out here from explosions. I want to see some explosions. Yeah. That was cute. Yeah. But I, I want a big bomb. Let's make some things go boom. I want to feel it in my chest.